The Ace Online system now has a new add-on module, Purchase Order Processing. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to produce an order from Ace Online. Here, I have a completed job, and now I need to raise a purchase order for the materials used. In this example, I'm going to raise an order to iLive for their fabrics. Click the pop button on the bottom of the screen. You will now see the transfer to pop screen. From here, you can see a list of all of the transactions from the selected job. We have colour coded the items to make it easier for you to check the history of the job. Blue, never been transferred. Green, already transferred. Yellow, change since the transfer. Red, already ordered and black removed from the job. Transferring items to POP can be done in two different ways. One, if you only need to transfer select items, the best way to do this would be to select them manually. And two, if for example you need to transfer all fabrics, select the fabric box and you will see all fabrics have automatically been selected. Now that the fabrics have been selected, I will click continue. You will see at the top of the page, the transactions have been saved. The next step would be to head over to the pop section and click unordered transactions. Here I can search for the unordered transactions multiple ways. Search by the job number, the transaction description, the item type, the supplier and the store but please note this option will only be visible if you have the stores add-on module as I need to raise a purchase order for iLive I will search by the supplier you will see a list of the materials ready to be ordered by clicking order now it will show you the order created prompt which specifies your pop order number the prefix and number can also be amended in the settings area. In the edit pop order screen, you can specify order instructions and delivery instructions. You can also set expected delivery dates. The order date updates once you have sent the order to the supplier. By clicking print email, this will allow you to raise a PO to the selected suppliers. Here you can see the transactions too, which can be amended as follows. Selecting the edit icon on the row will open the ordered pop transaction screen in edit mode based on the chosen transaction. Selecting the copy icon on a row will open the ordered pop transaction screen in a new mode populating with the same details as the record chosen, including the status as order pending. Selecting the delete icon will prompt the user to confirm the transaction is to be removed from the pop order. The history toggle is there to show you what's changed. Order transactions allows you to find the individual transactions making it easier to amend them. These can also be searched by the ACE online job number, the order number, the transaction description, the status, the item type, the supplier, store and by the expected delivery. The orders section of POP allows you to find the whole order as opposed to the individual transactions. These can also be searched by the order number, supplier, status and the expected delivery date. The Goods Inwards list will show orders which have been sent to a supplier and not cancelled. Users can search by order number, supplier, status and expected delivery date to review records and produce goods pending reports. I will search for iLive as a supplier and you will see the pop order appear. From here I can receipt goods in. To receipt goods in, click the receipt icon on the right hand side. The received date will automatically choose the date that you've received the items. Delivery notes and remarks are optional, 
but where present will be recorded against each items that have been received. From here, I will click Receipt All as I have received all of the fabric in. Now that all transactions have been received, the pop order will now move from the Goods Inward section to the Orders tab. From this screen, you can also search for all completed orders by changing the status drop down. A goods pending report can be produced where any records are shown in the grid and the report will be based on these transactions. It is suggested that the filter is set to active as this will include orders which have ordered items that have not yet been received in full. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you'd be interested in finding out more about ACE Online and its modules, please do not hesitate to contact enquiries at ccmace.co.uk or give us a call on 0161 766 4686.